Hello, this is Guy Gadowski from Penn State Hockey, and thank you for watching the tape room. And with a very special guest, especially around these parts, uh, Peyton Jones. It's really good to see you again. How are you? Yeah, it's good to see you too, Coach. You're looking good. Yeah, thank you. You too. I like the long hair. You, yeah, you, you, George saw it. He's giving me crap. You know, we used to give him a lot of grief about his hair, and he uh, he saw this, and he he was all over me. <laughs> People will talk about all your goaltending numbers, and they should. Um, but one of the one of the numbers I want to talk about, I don't know how many people know, is you uh, your offensive numbers are actually spectacular. You uh, led the Big Ten in scoring for goalies three out of four years. Uh, I think you led the entire nation in your sophomore year, um, and obviously graduated as the highest scoring active goaltender in the nation. So, um, is that something that you? that you, I know you practice moving the puck a lot, but is that something coming in here that you expected? Um, I wouldn't say expected, um, but I pride myself in helping out my defensemen. I mean, you know, there's times where on the penalty kill, they're blocking shots, you know, getting guys out of the way so I can see the puck. So I feel like, you know, any anytime I can help them get the puck, I'll make their life easier. You know, even if it's just directing uh, traffic, hey, you know, guy over here, um, show them where, you know, during the play where there are, where, where there's open guys, but for me, playing the puck is a way that, you know, to help them when they're coming back in the zone, kind of just to, you know, another set of eyes, a third defensive back there, making their lives easier. There's a game that I'll never forget. It was early in your freshman year. Uh, I think it was in October. We went to Notre Dame, which was huge. I think they were ranked number three at the time. Uh, and uh, we went, I think we tied them on Friday night. We're playing Saturday night, and the game went in overtime. Do you remember this game? I remember it. Picture uh, perfect. I want to see if we can show the clip. This is what happened. So the game's in overtime now, and uh, the puck goes down to you. What are you thinking? Um, first thing I'm thinking is, you know, get the puck. Um, as a goalie, I think it's important to make sure the puck's on your stick and in a position to move the puck. And the second thing I'm thinking is get my head up to see the ice. Um, you know, to make a play, I have to get my head up to see where all the players are, you know, my team and the other team. And so I think it's important to get my head up and, you know, see the whole ice. And that's an advantage of being a goalie is that I'm on one side of the ice. So when I lift my head up, you know, I see the majority of the ice. And, you know, on this play, uh, I just saw Notre Dame changing. And, you know, our guys coming off the bench and decided to, to make a pass up and it ended up in a goal. And I think that it's kind of kind of cool because the Notre Dame arena, you know, as, as a goalie, like you can take advantage of that because the benches are on opposite sides. And I think that's something that people don't, you know, don't really look into. But for me, you know, when, when they're changing, you know, our players are going one way, one side of the ice, their players are going on the other side. And I think, you know, this particular time, you know, they were changing back to their bench, which is closer to my net. And we were changing, um, you know, at our bench, which is closer to their net. And I had the opportunity to get the puck up and, you know, get the eventual uh, overtime game winner. Yeah, uh, that was great. And obviously a huge game for us. You know what, what I remember most about this night is, uh, is when we're flying out, um, now you're not you've improved greatly, but I knew as a freshman you didn't you weren't that comfortable with flying. Well, anyway, we're flying out of there, and this was a night a Saturday night really big for Penn State. Our football team was playing Ohio State night game Saturday. Unbelievable atmosphere, 107,000 people plus jam packed, and uh, and we're on the plane and we're following the game. I think we're down 14 going in the fourth quarter, something like that, and we get the word on the plane that. Uh, that we blocked a kick and took it back late in the fourth quarter for uh, for the go ahead touchdown, and uh, and I remember looking back the plate the plane is going nuts guys are high fiving and jumping up and down and I look back and there's Peyton I can just see you holding on to the seat with huge eyes, and I remember thinking that was uh, that that's my most vivid memory of that night. Yeah, so uh, I never flown on a, on a plane that small and it was <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> definitely different and. And it was a little scary for me at first, but I got used to it. So, well, I tell you what, um, you didn't stop as a freshman, obviously. I think we're going to show a clip. I think people became aware of how well you moved the puck, but uh, it's hard to defend. And this is a clip you're going to see uh, from Minnesota last year, your senior year, and something very similar happened. So, if you just take us, take us through this one. Yeah, so here it's kind of <clears throat> similar. Um, the puck rims around. Um, Second period change, they're changing their bench. Um, Sam Sternshine got a good hop off the bench. And, you know, like I said, I get out to the puck is, is the, the big thing. Make sure it's all my stick in a position to, to move it and head up right away. And I think, you know, I got there early, um, got my feet set, picked my head up, saw them changing, saw, uh, 
saw Sterney coming off the bench and, you know, made a, made a pass up to him and he, he made a nice play and scored a goal. So I think that was huge for us. Like I said, it's a, it's a two nothing game here. And, you know, to give us, you know, put it a one goal game, that, that was a huge goal by him and, um, you know, a game changer for sure. Yeah. You, you gave us the right guy. That's for sure. You know, he wasn't going to pass that one off. Yeah. He's not going to miss many of those. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. Well, I tell you what, so you, you, the way you move the puck is, is, is obviously exceptional. But there was something, I remember watching an interview with Wayne Gretzky talking about Grant Fuhr. And one of the things he said, he said, Grant Fuhr is so good that when he's making saves, he's directing the puck already in a spot where, where we can transition it. And you saw the Oilers take advantage of it. And I watched you play. I was wondering if that was something in your head as well. I wouldn't say in my head, but I think that a big thing as a goalie is controlling the game, you know, whether that's rebounds, um, you know, when you're playing the puck, um, you know, holding the puck, pucks in, in, in your chest, in your glove, holding them, or even, you know, controlling your players on the ice, um, you know, killing off a penalty in your zone. Hey, this guy's here, here's open ice, or before face-offs, if you see, you know, kind of, okay, I've seen this play before, you know, give your guys uh, direction, kind of. And, you know, kind of control them. And I think that that's huge. And I mean, for me here, I mean, I don't want to say that, you know, I, I was trying to do that, but I think a big thing is controlling the game and, you know, knowing where the other players are on the ice. Yeah, well, this is good. If we watch this clip, this is a, an example of it where I think you, you found our defenseman and uh, it ended up being a gorgeous goal, but I think it all starts from, from being able to put the puck in the right place. I it? think another thing is like, I guess I like controlling the game and like knowing like, I, like all the players were changing. So for me, I know I don't have to control that rebound to the corner, um, yeah. you know, because they're all going the other way. The puck's coming toward me. So I can put the puck in an area where, you know, our, our, our teammates are able to, to make a play on it. And, you know, thankfully there they were. It's really huge goal. Yeah. Late in the third, you set up the transition again to your, you know, I wonder how many assists you have on Sammy Sternshine because he sure was good. Yeah. So did you know that, uh, that this is where you wanted to put the puck? Um, so I didn't mean to pass the puck to Pav for him to pass it to Sterney, but, um, if you rewind here, you know, I was kind of saying controlling the game and, you know, knowing where players are, I think that's huge. And if you watch, uh, I think it's Linus, Linus Weisbach in Wisconsin, number nine is going back door here. So, you know, this guy, I, I can see him in my, in my, you know, kind of peripherals, you know, obviously I'm focused on the puck, but I see him coming back door there. And if you watch when the puck's on the ice, you know, I kind of, lift it up, lift my stick up a little bit to, to, to kind of get the puck in the air. Um, because, you know, it's, it's such a tough play to control there because, you know, he is shooting low pad and it's so in tight and there's a guy there. And, you know, if I got it off my pad, it would be on the ice and, you know, a tap in for him. But I kind of was able to, to realize he was there and, you know, get the puck in the air at least. So, I mean, if he does swap that out of the air, that's an incredible goal. But, I mean, it, it gives me, you know, it's, there's a way less chance of him being able to do that and a better chance of me at least giving me some time to get over there to make the save. So I think that, like I said, controlling the game and, you know, seeing where guys on the ice are, you know, my, my teammates, other teammates is, uh, is huge. And I think that, you know, I, I didn't mean to pass that buck to Pav, but I was, you know, doing my job of controlling the game and trying to get it over his stick to get it in an open area. And, you know, Pav came, you know, he, he, it kind of paid off because he, uh, he back checked hard to the house and, you know, was able to gather the puck and make a nice play to Sammy. And that's not, not something that I necessarily practice all the time. Um, you know, like, okay, someone's going to shoot it. I'm going to get it up in case there's a guy there. But, you know, like that's what practice is for. You know, we do a lot of game-like stuff in practice, game-like drills. And, um, you know, I've always been the kind of guy to treat practice like a game, you know, not just uh, go through the motions and, okay, I'm just going to, you know, put this, you know, I, I control the rebound. I put it to the corner, but there's a guy right there and he put it in. So I think that, you know, in practice, if I see a guy there, um, you know, getting the puck up and working on that because, you know, the things, the same things happen in the game that happen in practice and vice versa. So, you know, if you practice the right way and, and, you know, learn from, from, from things you do in practice, I think it'll transition over to the game. Well, this, well, this one is obviously another huge one playoffs as well for two reasons. One, it's a four on one back. So the save was great. Yeah, that was, uh, that was um, kind of a weird play because, you know, it was, I think, I think it was a three on one and, um for me uh obviously like my first thing is to make a save right and that kid had the puck there and they're crashing in at hard and you know obviously we have guys like three guys there back it was a four and one three guys there back checking so i think for me like anywhere i'm putting that puck um like it, it, it's a tough play um especially when the guy's in that tight so for me it was you know make the save and 
you know, those guys, like I said, they're like in, in, in the path clip, uh, they're coming back hard at the net and, you know, it, it pays off. And when, when you're playing the game the right way and you're, you're, you're back checking hard, um, it, it's going to pay off in the offensive zone too. And I think it, it, it really did here. As you can see, they made a really nice play and we get a goal off of it. Yeah, I thought it was great. You know, obviously a great defensive play by Stevens too. Uh, mm -hmm. to away the back door, which made him shoot it. And then the Naples coming back and makes a great play here, putting it up the ice. Uh, obviously a huge goal for us. Yeah, that was a huge play by Steve-O because as a goalie, when, you know, you can kind of like, when you can limit your options that you have to worry about and, you know, with Steve-O taking away the backdoor option and honestly, both backdoor options, it kind of let me stay on one half of the ice instead of having to worry about, okay, there's a guy on, you know, my left side, I got to worry about the shot. Or if there's a guy on the right side, I got to, you know, come over to make a nice save. But Steve-O played that awesome where, you know, he took away both options and they were both on the left side. So the guy either shot it or he dropped it back and it was a, you know, a small push to the, to the, to out into the center of the net for me to make a save. But we, uh, like I said, we back checked hard there. And so Barrett kind of took away that option and I was left with one guy and, you know, made the save. And like I said, we came back, we came back to the net hard and it paid off. I'm Peyton Jones. Thanks for watching the tape room.